Hey, what's up, guys? River here, boys. Back at it again with another video today. I'm going to be showing you my 2012 Polaris Mobile. It's an IQ LXT with a 550 engine in it. It's not the best sled, but it is a really good first sled. I got it when I was 9, and I've been riding it until now when I'm 13. So, I'm going to be showing you that. So, let's just go outside and see it. It's actually a pretty nice sled. It's got a red hood. Um, it's a 136 track. It doesn't have a lot of lug. You can tell it's very short lug. I mean, that's my that's my thumb. That's all it's got. I mean, it's, it is a trail riding sled. It's a lot of weight. The engine's very heavy. It's pretty loud. Um, it's got a. I think it's got a thousand miles on it. Yeah, it's got a thousand two hundred, a thousand two hundred and sixty-two point two. Um. This is going to be a quick video because I forgot to charge my camera last night, so it only has 12 minutes of battery life. So, yeah. Um, skis, pretty good. The turning's okay. It's not amazing. It's not, not anything like the new sled with the axis. There you go. Like my switchback that I'm getting. It's got a little crate back here. You can put stuff in it. Used to have a seat right here, but I took it off just because I never have anything right here in the back of this. Um, it's okay on fuel. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's pretty good. It has a pull start, but we got it with an electric start. So, um, I'll probably start it up and let you guys hear what it sounds like. So, these are a good sled if you're getting it for, like, your kid. Because I got my license when I was 10, but I rode it when I was 9. And, um, yeah, it was an amazing for a sled. Just because it's not going as fast as those brand new sleds that are coming out. Like the Indies and the Rushes and the Switchbacks and the RMKs. But it is doing primarily everything that you would want to learn on a sled before you're doing it. So I'm going to start it up. Usually I have to put it on half choke, but lately this year it's been having to get a lot of fixing. And I've been having to put it on full choke, so let's try it. Half choke. Yeah, just bummed out, so I'm going to put it on full choke. Exhaust pipes are down there, as you can see, under the sled. Um, it does vibrate a lot. So, very nice sled. Very nice sled. Sorry if the audio is bad. Um, it's pretty windy out today. It's gotten a lot warmer. But yeah, so I'm just gonna get all the angles. Um, it's okay. It's pretty good. I just, I don't really like the front of it. I would take off this right here and put a piece of this plastic right there. I just don't like it. The three headlights. Um, the suspension is okay in the front. Horrible in the back. It's absolutely horrible. You're going to be feeling those bumps for days after you go trail riding. We put 150 miles on it last year with one trail ride. It was a long day. The next day I could barely even walk. It was so bad. Um, the running boards are okay. They're a little, like... I mean, they'll hold you and stuff, but they are a little wiggly, and snow does get caught up in them very easily. Um, one of the main problems I've been having with this sled is getting it started. I don't know what. It's just one problem after another, and once it starts, it doesn't stop. Um, this is my grandma's sled, because my grandma and grandpa are actually divorced. Um, I'm not going to get into that, but this is the sled that she got for me when I was nine, and I ride it all the time, and I just got it from her. Of course, when the year ended, because that's just how inconvenient it is. So, my grandpa was getting a new sled, and that's the reason I'm getting a new sled. It's because he wants to have a sled that I can ride all summer. Or, well, it's been a long day, daylight savings time. <laughs> I can ride all winter and just ha always have it there, because he's always here. He lives very close to me, and my grandma lives about an hour and a half away. So, yeah. So, that's just going to wrap up today's video. Um... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We have 150 views on this um, the snowmobile video, me talking about my opinion on the 2020 Polaris sleds. Um, so go watch that one. Go watch all my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please share with friends and um, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be putting it right here. So thanks, guys. Bye.